Thanks be to God. Almighty God's word can make people see truth and enlighten them. Indeed. I still do have a question. Please ask. Do you want to communicate it with everyone? Ah, okay. Then let's go. Well, I still have a question. Pastors all know the Bible. They often interpret and exalt the Bible in churches. We've always thought that they should be people who know God. Then why has the work of God incarnate in the last days been resisted by the majority of pastors? Please discuss this question with us. That's true. Pastors are familiar with and have a rich knowledge of the Bible. They understand it and know God. If the Eastern Lightning is the true way, then why would they condemn and actively resist it? It seems to me what the majority of pastors and leaders condemn can't possibly be the true way. Deaconess Hong, I don't agree with that. In investigating whether it's God's work, we should not judge by whether the majority of religious leaders accept. Think back to when Lord Jesus appeared to do his work. Who were the ones that crucified the Lord Jesus? Wasn't it the religious leaders who were familiar with and interpreted the Bible? And so, what does this fact tell us? A person who can interpret it doesn't necessarily know God's work. And certainly cannot be said to know God. Jewish Pharisees and scribes were all familiar with the Bible, and yet it was they who resisted the Lord. They were all antichrists. Is this not a fact? If someone knows the Bible well, but can't see this fact, does that count as understanding the Bible? If you still rely on the views of the majority of religious leaders, as the basis to determine if it's God's appearance, then isn't that totally absurd? If you still rely on their views, aren't you also denying the appearance and work of the Lord Jesus? That makes you just like the Pharisees, someone who in fact resists God. When we seek the true way, we should decide according to whether there's the Holy Spirit's work and truth. That's the basis. Basing it on religious leaders' views is absolutely resisting God, and you'll be condemned and eliminated by God. Yeah. Yes. Do these words not conform with the facts? Yes. Yes, yes. That's, that's, that's right. right. I agree yes. with this. I agree too. Exactly. Yeah. Most believers are of the view that pastors are familiar with the Bible and often explain and exalt the Bible which means they should be people who know God. However, when God once again becomes flesh to perform His work in the last days, why do these pastors who know the Bible well furiously condemn and resist God's work of the last days? This is something that puzzles a lot of people. This is actually not hard to figure out. Back then, the Pharisees knew the Bible well and would often expound on it in synagogues. But when Lord Jesus came, they furiously resisted, and furthermore, they persecuted him and nailed the Lord Jesus to the cross alive. This fact is sufficient to prove that those who often interpret and exalt the Bible do not necessarily have true knowledge or understanding of God. All of the Pharisees could interpret the Bible. Though they knew everything expressed by the Lord Jesus was the truth, how could they still resist him? Since they weren't able to recognize God's voice at all, how could they possibly know God's disposition and essence? Religious pastors are no different from the Pharisees. You see, although they are familiar with the Bible, all that they preach is Bible knowledge and theological theories, as well as the characters and historical background of the Bible. They're unable to communicate any experience or testimony of practicing the Lord's Word or any true knowledge of God. 
This is more than enough to show that they are not people who experience God's work, nor do they practice God's word. How could they possibly be among those who know God? Their view of God is full of notions and imaginations. They simply don't know God's disposition and intention of saving mankind whatsoever. And so, when God appears in the last days, they use their Bible knowledge and doctrines to define God's work, and so end up playing the role of the Pharisees who believed in God yet resisted Him. Let's take a look at a passage of Almighty God's Word. Man himself cannot come up with a true knowledge of God. It is not something that man himself can imagine, nor is it the consequence of the Holy Spirit's especial favor of one person. Instead, it is a knowledge that comes after man has experienced the work of God and is a knowledge of God that only comes after having experienced the facts of God's work. Almighty God makes it abundantly clear. True knowledge of God comes from practically experiencing God's work and from practicing God's word and is achieved through the work of the Holy Spirit. It's not achieved through being extremely familiar with the Bible. Indeed. No one has, in the last thousands of years, achieved true knowledge of God through reading the Bible. Moreover, not one person has been cleansed and received God's approval because they were familiar with the Bible. He's right. He's right. Of all those who received God's approval throughout history, none achieved knowledge of God through simply reading the Bible. It was while in the process of practicing God's word and obeying God's work that ever so gradually they began to gain true knowledge and fear of God. Take Abraham and Job, for example. Both of them magnified God and revered God in their hearts. It was through their experiences that they were able to know the almightiness and the wisdom of God who dominates over all things. They saw that everything man has is due to God's blessing and God's grace, which generated their true faith in God. That is why they could still extol the holy name of God amid trials, created beautiful and resounding testimonies, and received God's blessing as a result. Peter recognized that the Lord Jesus is the Christ, that the Lord Jesus is the Son of the living God, not through familiarizing himself with the Old Testament, but through pursuing truth and practically obeying the word and work of the Lord Jesus through the Holy Spirit's work and through gradually getting to know God's true loveliness and his disposition and all that he has and is. In the end, he managed to achieve an ultimate love for God and obedience unto death, thus creating a beautiful and resounding testimony for God. In addition, during the time the Lord Jesus worked, those who did follow him all perceived in his utterance the authority and power of his word. They recognized that it was the voice of God and decided to follow Lord Jesus. They also created beautiful and resounding testimonies in spreading the Lord Jesus' gospel. When God returns to flesh and then appears to work during the last days, many people who never believed in Lord Jesus and never read the Bible have nonetheless attained the work of the Holy Spirit through accepting and obeying the judgment of Almighty God's Word. They have gradually developed true knowledge of and obedience toward God, Persecuted by the regime of the Great Red Dragon, they've created overcoming testimonies. This is a fact that all are able to see. Only those who have experienced God's work and ultimately created beautiful and resounding testimonies for God are people who truly know God and obey God. Those who only interpret the Bible but have not truly borne witness belong with religious charlatans. Those religious Pharisees and pastors despise and hate the truth. They familiarize themselves with the Bible and explain the Bible, not because they pursue the truth and knowledge of God. Rather, it is completely for showing off, deceiving, and caging people. When God becomes flesh and appears to do His work, 
They even view the truth expressing Christ as enemy and essentially crucify God again. Therefore, they are rejected and cursed by God. This fully exposes their truth-hating, God-opposing, anti-Christ essence. The work of God incarnate in the last days has revealed all mankind as well as classified people in accordance with their kind. God's work truly, beyond any doubt, is almighty and wise. Indeed. Absolutely. True. Indeed. Yes, I totally agree. True. This has helped me understand that knowledge of God can only be achieved through experiencing God's word and attaining the work of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Yeah. We used to think that these pastors who are familiar with the Bible and can explain the Bible surely must know God. It seems this is very wrong. Yes. Mm. The words expressed by Almighty God are all the truth and are the voice of God. Most pastors not only refuse to acknowledge it, they even outright condemn and resist it. This is quite sufficient to show that they are not people who know God. Well said. Absolutely. Yes, if people who believe in God do not love the truth and don't pay attention to practicing the Word of God, then they aren't truly experiencing the work of God. If people only care about equipping themselves with Bible knowledge and theological theories to build up their own prestige so people can worship and follow them, then they'll naturally become hypocritical Pharisees. Hmm. Allow me to read a passage of Almighty God's Word. Those who only care about the words of the Bible, who are unconcerned about the truth or seeking my footsteps, they are against me. For they limit me according to the Bible and constrain me within the Bible and so are blasphemous in the extreme toward me. How could such people come before me? They pay no heed to my deeds or my will or the truth, but instead obsess over words, words that kill. How could such people be compatible with me? I'll read next. Those who read the Bible in grand churches recite the Bible every day, yet not one understands the purpose of God's work. Not one is able to know God. Moreover, not one is in accord with the heart of God. They are all worthless, vile men, each standing on high to teach God. Though they brandish the name of God, they willfully oppose Him. Though they label themselves believers of God, they are ones who eat the flesh and drink the blood of man. All such men are devils who devour the soul of man. Demons who purposefully disturb those who try to step onto the right path and stumbling blocks that impede the path of those who seek God Though they are of robust flesh, how are their followers to know that they are antichrists who lead man in opposition to God? How are they to know that they are living devils who specially seek souls to devour? Those who honor themselves before God are the most lowly of men, while those who humble themselves are the most honorable. And those who think themselves to know the work of God and proclaim the work of God to others with great fanfare while their eyes are upon Him, these are the most ignorant of men. Such men are those without the testimony of God and those who are arrogant and conceited. God's word is indeed the truth. This is so good. It's such a good thing. Almighty God's words expose the truth-hating nature and the substance of the religious leaders, pastors, and Pharisees. 
they familiarize themselves with and explain the Bible all so they can stand out and show off. They use it to deceive and cage people while protecting their own status and livelihoods. It is not at all to communicate the truth and testify to God, nor to bring people before Him. They pretend to be godly on the outside, and yet they don't revere God in their hearts whatsoever. When Almighty God expresses the truth and performs judgment of the last days to protect their own status and their own livelihoods, they all do everything they can to spread rumors and release fallacies to delimit God and condemn God's work of the last days. They say things like God's words and work are all in the Bible. Anything beyond the Bible is heresy. And believing in God is believing in the Bible. The Bible represents God and so forth and spread all sorts of fallacies to prevent people from seeking and investigating the true way. So pastors try to protect their status, and that's why they resist and condemn Almighty God. Indeed. It shows that when religious pastors use occasions for explaining the Bible as opportunities to interpret the Bible falsely, delimit God, and to oppose God, it is due to their truth-hating and God-resisting satanic nature. Throughout history, the religious world has in fact been ruled by hypocritical Pharisees and Antichrists. They worship the Bible and exalt the Bible, all so they can deceive and control God's chosen people and consolidate their status and livelihoods. It is not at all to testify to God, nor to guide people into the reality of truth, nor is it to bring them before God. Therefore, when Almighty God comes to perform His work of the last days, the truth-hating, God-resisting, antichrist nature of religious pastors and leaders is thoroughly exposed. Under the guise of defending the truth and protecting the flock, they focus on opposing Almighty God, Christ of the last days, and turning the religious world into a staunch bastion of opposition to God. Do you still fail to see this fact? Your fellowship has benefited me. It has allowed me to see through the truth-hating and God-resisting satanic nature of religious pastors they interpret the Bible out of context so as to delimit God and condemn God's work, doing their utmost to make up all sorts of rumors to deceive people. Also, they can put people under their control and prevent them from seeking and examining the true way. Their resistance against God is utterly obvious. Yes, yes right. agreed. I never knew that they could be so malicious. Me neither. For the sake of their status and livelihoods, they have no problem with ruining our lives. Their hearts are truly black. They really are soul-devouring demons. That's Absolutely true. true. Right? I never think so. Today, we've received discernment. It is Almighty God's word that has indeed saved us from the bondage of the religious Pharisees. Amen. Amen. We offer thanks to Almighty God. Amen. 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 So pastors interpret the Bible for the sake of their status and livelihoods. We were unable to discern and blindly believed them. We really were muddle-headed. Yes. They're afraid to lose their status, so they do their utmost to cage and control us and even prohibit us from seeking Almighty God's work of the last days. Isn't this harming and ruining us? Yes, yes indeed. That's right. that's right. These pastors are so malicious. Yes, I agree with you. Their knowledge of the Bible and their theological theories are just their empty rhetoric. That's right. They do not have any true experience of God's words and work. Yes, yes I agree. Indeed. How are they exalting God at all? It is completely to make themselves stand out and to exalt themselves. Mm. They never lead us to practice the Lord's word or to experience his work. Well, yes. Right. Therefore, we don't understand any truth. 
after believing in God for years, and we all lack any true knowledge of the Lord. It's, it's true. true. We believe in the Lord, but don't magnify the Lord. Instead, we blindly believe pastors, listening to and obeying them in everything. How could this receive God's approval? Pastors have badly cheated us. Yes, yes. Isn't that right, that right, that right. Right. If it weren't for today's fellowship about Almighty God's Word, we would still think they are people who know God simply because they are familiar with the Bible and can explain it. We'd still rely on them to lead us to be brought up into the kingdom of heaven. We are simply too blind and foolish. If it weren't for today's fellowship, we would all be still kept in the dark. Yes. 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 Well said. Almighty God has worked for many years, and already He has made a group of overcomers. His work's almost complete. Yet we continue to be deceived and controlled by the pastor's fallacies, stubbornly and blindly believing in the Bible, doing all we could to deny God's work of the last days, still looking to the sky and waiting for our Savior to descend upon white clouds, not knowing we almost missed our chance to be made into overcomers. It's true. If it weren't, for our seeking into Almighty God's Word online, we would still be listening to the lies of religious pastors. We all would probably never be able to hear the Lord's voice or welcome His appearance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's true. Yeah. Can't argue with that. Yes. God's Word and yes. work. Yes. The four blood moons have already taken place. The great disasters have started to fall down already. If Almighty God hadn't shown mercy on and also saved us, we'd be weeping and gnashing our teeth in the disasters. Yes, yes. I agree. that's true. Yes, it true. is very dangerous. Let's give all thanks to Almighty God for saving us all. Amen. Amen. Let us all thank Almighty God. Amen. Amen. We have finally received the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to thank God. God. Never did I think I could receive the Lord in my lifetime. It's my greatest honor in all my life. Amen. I offer thanks to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we have much to thank Almighty God for. Indeed, we are ever so greatly blessed. Amen. Amen. I too thank Almighty God for his saving me. Amen. Amen. For these many years, I was a believer of God, but in name, and was actually worshiping man. I was deceived by pastors, the religious Pharisees. I, even blindly, believed in and worshiped the Bible, always using the Bible to delimit God and to replace God, thinking that belief in God means believing in the Bible and departing from it means not believing in God. They were like shackles that tightly bound me and fully tied me down, making me unable to follow God's footsteps and experience God's work. Blindly worshiping the Bible and looking up to and following the Pharisees became obstacles to my accepting God's work of the last days and continued to prevent me from looking into and investigating Almighty God's work. Today, it is the word of Almighty God that has allowed me to discern the Antichrist essence of pastors, to break out of their cage and their control and to be brought before God's throne. Amen. Amen. I am so thankful for Almighty God's exaltation and grace. Amen. Amen. Henceforth, I'll pursue the truth hard, proclaim Almighty God's work of the last days, so I may bring all before God soon to repay His love and salvation. 
Amen. Let us all thank Almighty God. Amen. Praise God. Here you are. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. The books you wanted are ready. Are those there? Yes. Thank you. Looks like there are many people accepting the gospel. Uh -huh. Yes. It's all God's work and his blessing. Right. We should get going now. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Till later. Hi. Hello. Here, let me help you. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. Hello.